we thought, listen, where better to run an ad warning about leaders who attack the press, who scapegoat minorities, who, who you know, laugh and cheer as, as protesters are beaten up than on Sean Hannity's show. So we submitted the ad, and, um, and the ad is not inflammatory. It is archival footage of the rally in 1939 without, you know, with almost no comment. The, the CEO of Fox News injected herself into a discussion about a short documentary's 30-second ad buy and personally, we understand, killed the ad from being allowed to be shown on Fox News. The reason that they weren't going to do it is because they didn't want to have uh, this disgusting Nazi imagery on their show. The Nazis don't exist and neither does the Soviet Union. Uh, the white supremacists are American citizens. Uh, the illegal immigrants are people who shouldn't be here. The America that we know and love doesn't exist anymore. Massive demographic changes have been foisted upon the American people. And they're changes that none of us ever voted for and most of us don't like. We, with American ideals, demand that our government shall be returned to the American people who founded it. Fascists. Throughout history, there have always been media outlets that have supported demagogues and have helped to kind of whip up the divisive scapegoating of minorities. And today, I think Fox News is, is one of the number one uh, outlets that's doing that. They have, they have some legitimate uh, journalists, but they have a lot of programming that pretends to be journalism, but is actually a propaganda for a, for a dangerous demagogue. So if we talk about America is yes. Nazi Germany and we talk about the Trump is Hitler, th then we don't really focus on the fundamentals, which is we got a lot of people coming across the border, most of whom do not speak English. This leftist narrative that a Make America Great Again hat is akin to wearing some Nazi uniform is patently ridiculous and it's offensive. Liberals who used to love discourse, I remember them when they used to love to debate. They now prefer the easier route. Just call someone a Nazi or a closet KKK member and you're done. See if you think that there are any that, that there are any lessons that can be gleaned from seeing what happened when leaders in 1939 uh, scapegoated minorities and attacked the press and and cheered the, the beating up of, of protesters. If you ask what we are actively fighting for under our charter, first a social, just, white, Gentile, who ruled the United States. And if you see some similarities, think about which side of history you want to be on today. And 80 years from now, when they're looking back at this time, how are they going to see what Fox News is doing and what Donald Trump is doing?